Hello everyone. In this video, I want to explain how to make benchmark predictions based on patch notes. Now, in the past, I've done a video explaining how to do that for power builds and for strike damage. But I said in that video that Condi is a bit more complicated. So in this video, I want to show you how to do it with Condi. And I'm going to do it on the example of leaf changes, specifically changes aimed to curb Condi Deadites damage in today's patch. And as you can see, the notes say that the Axe 2 skill has this poison duration reduced from 3 seconds to 2 seconds in PvE only. The Axe 3 skill had to reduce the torment duration from 4 seconds to 2 seconds in PvE only. And finally, the sneak attack has re reduced the bleeding stacks from 2 to 1 in PvE only. Now, in when with strike damage, it's quite simple to, to just adjust the numbers. But for Condi, you need to actually figure out how much poison damage did this skill produce previously in order to multiply it by two thirds to get to the new poison damage. So now I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to show you how it's done, or at least how I do it. All right. So the first thing you need is you need a log from the old benchmark, for example. Yeah. So a log which you believe is also the new rotation, then we can just do math on the numbers here. So we go to the player summary and to outgoing damage, and we check how often each skill that we're going to look at has hit. And we see, for example, the Venomous Volley has hit 394 times and during this golem. And then, so we enter this 394 times. Now we need to figure out how much poison these 394 hits produced. And first of all, we can go to the wiki and let's take a look at Venomous Volley. It does poison for three seconds. Now, for a Condi that I, we have 100% Condi duration, as we can just look up when we have the build geared. We have 100% Condi duration so for poison. So it's going to be just six seconds of poison here. And so first off, we can just multiply two times three or six times these 394 hits and that's just the amount of seconds of poison we apply. Then next up we need to know how many how many stacks we hold overall with this poison duration and that is going just by dividing by 80 because the golem takes 80 seconds to kill um, we, we get then the average poison stack supplied. And next up we multiply by the damage per second each poison stack does. And in order to get to this number of 388, um, we have to take a look at the log again. So in the log, we see that poison for our Condi that I does 20,111 20, DPS. We see that by hovering over the poison number here. And then we can go to target summary buff status, check out and see that we have 51.5 51.5 poison stacks on the golem on average. So we can just divide the DPS number by the poison stacks to figure out what each poison stack does individually. So 20,111 it was. And we see that it does roughly 390 damage per second. So let's put it actually to 390 here. And then finally, I multiply by 95%. And the reason I'm doing that is that we are saying that Condi Dead Eye does six seconds of poison with each of these venomous volleys. But that's not actually quite true because at the end, um, these venomous volleys here towards the end of the rotation, they don't get to fully tick anymore. So they maybe only get half the damage in. So I'm reducing the number I'm getting by a little bit to just not overestimate it too much. If it's 95%, it's maybe a bit too low. Maybe I should put 97% here, 98%. It's going to change the result by a few hundred DPS, not depending on what you put here. Let's put it at 95% right now. This makes the impact we're going to observe a more conservative estimate. We're going to get a upper bound on, on the expected benchmark damage. Um, if you go higher here with this number, you might, might undershoot 
And yeah, it's up to you in which way you want to be conservative. All right. And then that's it. So we have the, the number of hits, we have the poison duration, we have the, we have the, um, the DPS each poison stack does, we do divide by the fight duration, we multiply by a correction factor to account for the golem dying at some point with still poison ticking on him, and we get the patch. The poison we saw in this patch note coming from the three seconds duration it was roughly 11k DPS. Now, with the new patch, um, it's only going to be two seconds. So we have to multiply by two and divide by three to get to the new duration. And so the new damage is just 7,298. So this has been nerfed by 3,649 damage, the difference between these two numbers. All right, that was easy. So let's do it with malicious cunning salvo. Here the change was to change the number of bleeding sacks from 2 to 1 in PvE only. So let's take a look what the skill actually does. Malicious Cunning Salvo. The tooltip is actually wrong. It's 2 stacks, not 3. Um, or the wiki is wrong here. And so what's going on here is that, that we have 8 seconds of bleeding and times two bleeding stacks. So in the log we see 37 hits from Malicious Cunning Salvo. Um, all right, so let's get this in here. We have 37 hits times eight seconds of bleeding and two bleeding stacks. And we have bleeding duration of 71%. So multiply all these numbers that you've just heard together, divide by 80 seconds, which is the golem duration, and then again, we have to calculate how much DPS one single bleeding stack does. It's going to be 346. Simply by going to the log again, you see 7,924 DPS. Go to target summary buff status, you see 22.8. Divide the 7,900 by 22.8. And we get, get bleeding DPS of one stack is 346 for this build. So let's just multiply by that. Again, we do a correction fact factor of 95%. Maybe it should be 94, maybe 93. I don't know, to be honest. Let's just put it this way here. And then the, the stacks get reduced from 2 to 1 in this patch. So that's the nerf we observe. And finally, we do Hovering Storm. Hovering Storm is the Axe 3, the torment went from 4 seconds to 2 seconds. So each of these skills will apply 6 stacks, six stack, six stacks of torment because it hits 6 times once for each, for each axe you recall and you always recall 6 axes. In the log you see that we cast Havering Storm a total of 33 times. I wrote 33 casts here. So 33 casts, 6 stacks per cast, each stack lasts 4 seconds, the torment duration is 71.86%, so that's the duration of the torment. We divide by 80 because of the benchmark duration, and then again we have to figure out how much one torment stack ticks for, and we can do this again in the log. Checking out the torment DPS is 9,253, we go to the torment stacks, we hold 22.354, and we divide, divide by that to get that Torment is worth roughly 346 DPS. Um, no, that's not Torment, that's, that was the old one. Yeah, the Torment is worth roughly 414 DPS. And then we get that number. Again, with a correction factor because of Condi's running out at the end. All right, and now this has been halved. We go from four seconds to two seconds. So the relative relative change is just by dividing by two. And this means the nerf is the difference between the two. Now we can add up these three numbers and we arrive at a DPS nerf of 9k. So the question is now, how accurate is this actually? We've made some assumptions. Obviously, if you, if you have less DPS, the golem will take longer 
This can be an advantage for a Condi class because the fight goes longer. It can also be a disadvantage if the fight will be at a will end at the wrong time where it doesn't have a lot of damage currently. We don't know how accurate this exactly is. But um, before the patch, we had a benchmark a bit above 54k. And right now, I've already seen a 44k number being posted with not a lot of grinding, as I assume. So 9k seems probably quite accurate. Maybe it's 9.5k, maybe it's a 9.7k nerf, something like that. Um, so there's some error in this calculation. It's not very, not very sophisticated, but in exchange, it's rather simple to perform. It took me now 10 minutes to explain it to you. It took me less than five minutes to do this in the first place. And even though I'm not an expert on Condi that I like, I didn't really have to know much about it. I had to know how some of the skills worked. Yeah, that, that's it basically. And I used the wiki to, to, check, to check some numbers. So this is how you can theoretically work out effects just from, from patch notes before ever go, stepping foot inside the golem area. This is especially useful for a player like me who cannot actually play Condi that I that well. So personally, I don't immediately know how much I benched before the patch, how much I bench now. Like, I don't know how much of that is just due to player error or whatever I'm doing wrong with it. And with this method, I can really use someone else's log to figure out the effect. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you find that insightful and I see you in the next video.